Sega. Hey guys, what's up? Pokemon Battles here, and we're here with a new Let's Play of Sonic Lost World. It's a little change from a Pokemon game. This Let's Play won't be too long, because this game's... Well, it's not the longest game ever, so yeah. I just thought it'd be nice to have for, for me to change it up a bit. So basically, we're just gonna start it off with a cutscene no more explaining, but all I have to say is that doing the 3DS version, because I do not have a Wii U at the moment, and the cutscenes are a little pixely, only because they're super compressed from their transition from the Wii U to the 3DS, but I guess they're watchable. So yeah, if you have any complaints about that, then that answers your question right there. Alright, I'm gonna go let you guys watch this cutscene. Ugh, super ugly, right? Ugh, whatever. And now we are starting off in this level, as you can see. I'm not, like, this level is a whole different kind of play. Not pressing the R button, you just do this light jog. Pressing the R button, you do this thing called the super pillow, makes you actually run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold the R button, jump, do a homing attack, stuff like that. You'll figure it out as soon as I get to the game. Ah, so let's just go on right now. So this is my first, no, it's, I'd be lying if I said that. This is my, like, second, uh, non-Pokemon Let's Play that I'm doing. Because, uh, I did Pajama Sam, I don't know if that counted as one, but yeah, whatever. What I did right there was actually a Spin Nash, and I should probably explain it. If you haven't played Sonic 2, or any of those games, uh, I know, I know some of you guys have played Sonic games. But yeah, this is the Spin Nash, it's back from games, like... From the previous games before this, there was this thing called the boost, and basically what the boost was, it was just like a really blurry, really fast mechanic that you were gonna use during this game. It's really, eh, like people liked it, but people prefer the spin dash definitely over that. Especially you get you classic fans out there, you they definitely prefer this. So I did post a speed run from this game like earlier this week like maybe two days ago and I did get this game early from a nice little game store oh I'm supposed to kill them all I'm not really used to killing enemies oh god I, I got hit I'm not good and let's just take them all. oh I just got destroyed by a motobug I'm so awesome but yeah hopefully like some of you Pokemon fans will take an interest in this game it's not really out yet but it will probably be out by the time this is up or maybe it will be out like a couple days after this is out so yeah the quality is okay for this game but like when I'm recording in 720p already like if I record at max bitrate I guess it'd look better but I guess it looks fine like this but the thing about the cutscenes is they're super compressed right so they're gonna look crap unless you have like they're still even if you go to max bitrate the cutscenes are still gonna look crap so I don't know I don't know how to make the, I might have to transport like if you really can't stand the 3ds cutscenes I will instead put in the Wii U cutscenes just for you guys cuz I know they're the the 3ds cutscenes are horrendous and we got an A rank that is okay. <laughs> the best rank is an S rank, by the way. So I th I'm pretty sure we have another cutscene coming. Yep. 
Ew, the cutscene quality. Stay calm, little guy. Sonic and Tails will get your buddies back. Sonic, did you get those animals back from Eggman? Uh, just the one container he tossed off his Eggmobile. What? Wait a minute, just the one? <laughs> Weak. I would have gotten them all back by now. Save the rest of them. Oh, I hate to think what Eggman's doing to those poor things. I'm on it. Shut up, Amy. <laughs> All right, let's move on to Zone Two of Windy Hill Zone. Yeah. By the way, this is Windy Hill Zone, and that was a tutorial level. So now we're gonna move on to the first level, and this was the one that I did a speed run of. I'm gonna slow it down a bit though, just because. But I'm still gonna go fast because it was fun to go. It's fun to go fast in this game. Uh, oh, okay. I barely made that jump. Now let's go. Now that the the music that you're hearing right now is the come on the the theme from Sonic colors the game that came a couple games before this game yeah let's just say it was the game to kind of save Sega I'm gonna be honest like oh jeez I'm I, I'm blaming this like whenever I die I'm just gonna blame on the fact that I'm recording by the way nothing else so yeah. Actually, you know what? I should probably go through these levels faster just so I can get through zones faster and get this game over. I'm going to be doing this entire zone in one run, but it's only three levels, not including the final boss, the boss thing at the end of the level. I'm not including that, by the way. So yeah, we're just going to spin dash our way through these obstacles that are in our path. <coughs> oh, I felt a burp coming. Before you ask, yeah, of course I'm still continuing my X and Y Let's Play. If that's what you're, if that was what you were gonna wonder, you probably don't, cause you hate me. But, but yeah, I'm still continuing that. I'm just doing this side by side. Oh jeez. Oh yeah, forgot. Platforms fall right here, so make sure to watch out for that. So this game, when I upload this, this game will either already be out or will be out tomorrow. I might upload it on the same night I'm recording it, so, which is the day before it actually comes out on October 29th. So yeah, I'm basically doing this side by side with uh, Deedster 96's Let's Play of this game, except I'm a little late on that part. Look, wait, look at this parkour. I'll just show. Yeah, that parkour is awesome. You can skip massive chunks of stuff just. Oh. Ooh, that was not good. I just spoke way too soon. Way too soon. <laughs> but yeah, basically, Deedster96 is doing the Wii U version of this. You should really go check his Let's Play out. It will be awesome. If you want to go check out the Wii U version, I will leave a link to his channel in the description below. He's a really awesome dude. He knows his Sonic stuff, man. Oh, God. He wouldn't believe... Like, he can talk hours and hours about his opinions, but they're really interesting. Alright, let's go up here. Not mess this up like last time. I'm gonna kill you all, because I'm mad. And now we're gonna go into... Okay, so this is basically one of the main gimmicks of the game, the, the parkour. Now, the parkour basically means that you can run on walls and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, you can run on walls and run on up walls and stuff like that. So now we're going to have a little chase scene right here with a giant worm following us. Uh, run, Sonic. Now you're supposed to watch out for these signs, but I suck at time. I can't time, Daddy. Uh, 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 okay. Whew. Oh, man. I almost didn't make it through that. But here we go. There's the animal capsule. And that is the end of this level. Not too shabby. Did you hear that, guys? Not too shabby. Oh. Alright, next level. Let's go. Windy Hill... Ah. Sorry, my throat. Windy Hill Zone 2, and this is personally one of my favorite stages, only because it's very speedy, very awesome as well. We get a right off the bat. No cutscene involved, so we're just gonna spin Ash our way through these enemies. Boom, boom, boom. Eh. I, I almost messed that up, I think. <clears throat> Let's go around here, do another spin dash. Now you're going to want to make sure to watch out for some spikes that are ahead. Yeah, I'm going to just jump just in case. There's some caterpillars that are from Sonic 1, if you have not played the game. Basically, 
the caterpillar oh, okay I'll homing attack these guys basically a lot of these like characters from this game are from past Sonic games and like Sega's really trying to go like go blast to the I don't know just like do some like blast of the past kind of stuff like you know none of these enemies are new they're all from past classic Sonic games and then maybe like some some older modern Sonic games and if you're a Pokemon fan just watching this for the first time, then you're probably confused on what I'm talking about, but yeah. Ugh. Ah, damn it. Now, basically, what we have to do is, like, to kill him faster is we have to wait for it to home on twice, and then we can kill him even quicker. We could have killed him in one hit, but I was getting too impatient, so let's just spin Ash our way through even though we didn't need to. Yeah, this game is a lot of fun. This game was, like, the 3DS version was actually made by a, a corporation called Dimps. Yeah, Dimps Corporation. They they made this version of the game. Now, Dimps has been known for making their games very scripted. And do you know what I mean by scripted? I mean, like, the game, like, usually the, what scripted means is, like, the game plays for itself. Like... They're, they usually keep their games 2D, but this is their first game going 2D. I mean, ah, two, going 3D. And you know what's funny? Because this version actually has less scripted scenes than the Wii U version. And that is, like, incredible. D396 was talking about that. Like, how that game has a lot of scripted... Like, the Wii U version has a lot of scripted events where you're not... You're, you're not in control. Like, people just... And that was the Dimps' main problem, but I see that they've gotten this down. Yeah, this wasn't made by Sonic Team. This was made by Dimps. That's the ma that's the main part of the that's the main part of this story. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It was made by a company called Dimps, not Sega. Ooh, Jesus Christ! Butthole. I did. I just. Wow. Wow. Oh, that double jump just saved my life. Ah. Uh, oh god, I'm going so hardcore right now. Okay, let's just run this through. I don't want to take any chances. We're almost at the end of the level. I don't want to get a heart attack from dying again. And we're just going to jump. Jumps. Oh, yeah, I, I, have, I forgot to explain. The spin dash in this game is different because you can, if you hold the spin, ugh, fire shield, good. If you hold the spin dash button after you use it, you can actually continually keep using the spin dash and you never lose your momentum. It's pretty sick because in no other Sonic game you were able to do that. And we're coming on an Apple Animal Capsule. And the Animal Capsules are actually from previous Sonic games like from the way back Sonic games like... Ooh! <sighs> Okay, so on the bottom screen, it says, an entrance to a special stage has been unlocked. Do you want to give it a try? Guys. These special stages are motion control. Do you know what that means? That means you are going to have to move your whole body around with all this recording wire stuff that is attached to your 3DS. I will show it off one day, maybe like at the end of this let's play, I will show it off, but I'm not doing it right now, because they are hell on earth, especially if you have wires, even without wires, they're still, it's still really terrible, oh my god, you wouldn't believe the trouble I had but on my first play through this game, like when I got all this, but oh, just cutscene. An army. It needs to be a big army if I'm taking over the world below. You are quite a mighty conqueror. Yes, yes I am. I conquered you, didn't I? And with your help, I'll not only rule the world, I'll finally destroy that blue nuisance, Sonic. Eggman wants the Noel Hedgehog destroyed. <laughs> yeah, well, I feel I destroyed something. That's what I like about you, Zaz. Always ready for a fight. Even before you know what you're fighting. <laughs> you bet! Bring it on and I'll rip it up! <laughs> Win or lose, I'll learn something about our enemy. Oh, 
All right, now we're going on to Windy Hill Zone Act 3, or Windy Hill Zone 3, if you want to just call it that. And here we got what this, like, this level reminds me a lot of the old classic Sonic because he has the spin Nash. He basically has the same moves he did back when, except now he has, like, the double jump and whatnot, which he never, well, I wouldn't say never had. Oh, okay, I just went for that cloud. Never mind, just gonna. And if you didn't notice already, the spin ash is way faster in 2D than it is in 3D. Yeah, this l whole level is in 2D, and I'm just gonna be blazing through it. Uh, okay. Oh yeah. By the way, when you're when you're homing onto an enemy, if you press the Y or X, yeah. If you press the Y or X button, you release this wind kick thing. That makes it easier to knock them out. Oh, what did I get hit? B oh, I see. Frame rate is not good. Hey, can I just jump on this thing, please? Okay. This level shouldn't take too long. There's like three mini boss sections that are very annoying. One's coming up right now, actually. Ooh, one up. This game is very friendly with one ups as well. Oh, yeah. It's Beat Town Time! Yeah, this game is really friendly with one ups. Once you get a game over, it's like you get 11 lives or you just start the game off with 11 lives actually now that is like insane and insane oh geez i meant to bounce again yeah if you jump and then you press y a couple times you do this bounce thing and it makes you reach really good height it's it's pretty useful now you see that, that I have like that RC thing at the, at the corner. I only deleted my story data from my old file. I did not delete my customizations or anything like that. So the, I'll, I'll show off the RC vehicles later. Actually, you know what? I could probably do it now. Dun, dun. And I'm not doing this let's play blind. For God's sakes, if I did it blind, we would we would be here for like 10 hours or so. Ugh. You can only spin dash... Like, I don't get the logic of this game. You can spin dash up a wall once, but you can't. But, like, when you're running on the side of a wall, you can only spin dash. You can spin dash inf infinitely. Ah! You know what? I'm gonna use it right now. It just sends off a huge screen nuke. That's it. That, that, that's. That's it. I'm just gonna take this upper route right here. We should be. Ah! No! Oh, I could have taken an awesome place, but we should be coming up on the next part. Ah, 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 oh, I hate these things. They're from Sonic 2 Chemical Plant, as you probably already know, and they're very, very annoying. All uh, right, we're just going to parkour up this way. Going to kill, oh, well, we didn't kill him, but this guy's voice annoys me. It's beat down, Tam. Basically, there's just mini bosses, but only in this one stage. The rest of the stages. Oh! <laughs> I completely forgot to even tell you who this guy is and what is going on. So, basically, this thing and the things you saw in the cutscenes were a part of the Deadly Six. And basically, they're things that Eggman right now has control over. And they're bad guys. And. Yeah, that's all you need to know. They're just b the main villains of this game. And there are... Oh, I didn't pay attention. But yeah, there's six of them. I wasn't very lucky, actually. Why, why'd he say I was lucky this time? Alright. But yeah, they're basically just the bad guys of this game, I guess you could say. Eggman is actually not the bad... Well, he is the bad guy, but like... He's not the main bad guy, if you catch my cold. All right, let's just bounce on the. Whoa! Level flipped upside down. Wow, the speed that I love. Ooh, we just bounce on them like regular Sonic. No homing attack. And yeah, that thing where it homes onto stuff, and I can. Okay, that's what I meant by scripted. There's a bunch of spr when there's a bunch of springs. I gotta be careful, actually. When there's a bunch of springs that are just propelling you forward, it that's what like I mean by scripted. But it's not it's not it's not too frequent in this game. That was like maybe like three seconds or so. Oh, I made it over. Awesome. And you see those gray blocks on the side of that thing? That means you cannot parkour on it. Ooh, another classic Sonic moment right there. I just just jump. 
Oh god, hold on. I just died. There, Dims has a problem with bottomless pits as well. Whenever you miss something, they have a habit of putting a bottomless pit there. But that was my fault again, because the screen, my computer screen went dark, and then, yeah. I gotta stop dying. Ooh. Kill him. Ooh. Kill him. Ooh. Uh, upside down him. Alright. Oh my god, that's so disorienting. It's not even funny. Alright, now we're coming up on the last boss thing. And, like, there's this thing on the bottom that tells you how close you are to the finish. But I am not gonna waste screens up. I'm not gonna waste up the screen with a bomb screen. And we are almost done with Windy Hill Zone 1. Let's just quickly. Oh, I, I barely dodged that. I think he only throws the ball like four times. I think. Yep. And one more time. We're just... Stinking hatter! Oh, okay. Now we're just going to get ready to go to the end of... I just jumped over it. Yeah, all right. Whatever. And what rank did we get? A B. Ugh, I got to kill more enemies, man. Because that's how you get stuff. Yeah. You kill more enemies, basically. Alright, now we're coming up on the final act of Windy Hill Zone. And there is a cutscene coming up, so I'll be quiet. Hey! I've been looking for you, Baldy McNose Hair! Who are your friends? <sighs> friends? These are nobody's friends. They are the Deadly Six, and they are your worst enemies. Jazz? Show this blue pest how you do things up here. With pleasure. I've been itching for a bite all day. <laughs> I think you're itching because you need a bath. Oh, God. That is... That is rude, Sonic. You don't just tell somebody they need to take a bath. <laughs> God. Okay. Kill him. Uh, that was just another example of how bad the cutscenes look in this game. D Sir 96 says they're just fine, but I can't. Uh, I'm going home in a box. All right. Oh, oh God, no! This th he basically just chases you with your moon, and you gotta hit him off the moon, and then you gotta get him. And boo, fully charge it. Now just do this a couple times and you beat him easily. Oh, he sends out stars one time. Ooh, kill him. Oh, I gotta stop saying that. I said that in my last X and Y let's play, let's play part, but I keep doing it. Let's go get him one more time. Eek, ah, hit. What? He shows up that like he was on the moon, but um, uh, he he can fly. He yeah, he can fly. <laughs> if you didn't know that their species could fly, you're obviously dumb. <laughs> oh, S rank, that's awesome. And that is the end of that level, and we are done with Windy Hill Zone. Period. Right. We good to go or what, Tails? I built a TV out of paperclip. Yeah. And reprogrammed a supercomputer using dishwashing detergent and a toothpick. I know. So look, fixing a propeller on a biplane, that's about as difficult as taking a nap. Okay, I didn't need your whole life story. A simple good to go would have been cool. All right. Good to go! Cool! Alright, that was a cheesy cutscene, but whatever. Now we are done with Windy Hill Zone, and next week episode we will be moving on to Desert Ruins. Alright, see you guys next time on Sonic Lost World. I was about to say Pokemon X. I'm too used to saying that. Alright, see you guys.